Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we have this event right here. This is the strongest mystery seize the victory with Spirit Bomb. Kind of just like a, an interesting little event, more so designed around using the anniversary characters, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the Spirit Bombs, right, and sort of playing around with that. Now, we got a couple of missions added to this. So I figure we'll go ahead and take a look at what these new missions are, and then we'll do a video around uh, clearing that, right? So if we swap over, there are two missions for Stage 1. We have to beat it with three Terrifying Conqueror category allies, and then we also have to do this um, in four turns. Now, Kid Buu is pretty easy. He just kind of regens over and over and over. Just beating it with Terrifying Conqueror characters is going to be pretty simple. We could do that, I think, pretty easily. Um, and then right here, you know, doing it in four turns... If we're not able to do that in the Terrifying Conqueror run, I could just, you know, do like AGL, LR Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, or something like that. Shouldn't be really too tough. All you have to do with Kid Buu is you have to hit him. I think it's, it's I think it's just 10 million kills him. I I believe with, with both Kid Buu and Omega, it's just 10 million that kill them. I know for part stage one, yeah, I, I think if you hit them with 10 million, that, that does actually end it, right? There is missions all the way up to 40 million, but we already did those. Uh, when part one, when this event first came out, right? Then for stage two, the Omega stage, um, we have to beat this with three powerful comeback characters, and we also have to do this within five turns total. Um, I, I feel like this one is is a lot easier to do this quickly than Kid Buu, because the way the Kid Buu fight is constructed, he just revives over and over and over up to five times, whereas Omega, you kind of just, it, it's like kind of normal, right? You whittle down his first uh, like HP bar, like the minus energy gauge, and then you move on to the second fight. So, all right, um, let's go ahead and jump in. We will do the first stage of the Terrifying Conqueror run. We'll go ahead and knock that out right now. All right, let's go ahead and just jump in like this. Let's see how we do. Um, I don't mind doing several different runs here. Um, so we have the Goku and Vegeta in the second turn. Maybe I should... Why don't we just use the spirit? You know, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just come back. We're just gonna get the uh, spirit bomb here, and uh, we should do pretty good. Let, let me just reset until we get Goku and Vegeta turn one. All right, we'll we'll jump in exactly like this. This is perfect. Um, so we just have to beat it with the three terrifying conquer characters, and you know, under four turns. I feel like we probably should be able to do this pretty easily because we could just swap into the spirit bomb right away here um, And then we'll, we'll go ahead and charge that up and we should be completely good to go Might as well play this since we can't skip it anyway All right, perfect, perfect. So we got that. Um, now we'll just, you know, get as many key spheres as we possibly can. I could almost, we could just auto it right here. Um, just get as many key spheres as possible and we're going to be good to go. Uh, the thing that's actually going to be pretty helpful next turn too is that metal cooler in them. They're going to be able to just uh, heal up, right? Again, all you have to do is bring three terrifying conquer allies and then... Eighth anniversary LRs can clear this. I, I I do like to do these no item runs. Um, you could easily use the GT Goku. I think if you use like Deborah cookies, that could be very simple. Um, AGL LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan also is very effective at this, right? You know, you just bring some random Android 16, you know, bam, and, and then you could transform with the attack node right there on the field. You can just get your health to under like the the threshold you need to be right away, right? So you're just completely good to go. Right, it's not even a, it's not a problem at all, really. I like like that that is kind of good design. Like this is a different type of event. Um, you know, people have complained that they never release missions for a stage and they never you know release content. Even though I mean that's sort of what we're doing here. You know, it is what it is, I guess. Now it is ten million that takes this guy out, right? I, I think it's ten million. We we probably can just pop the spirit bomb next turn and and we're gonna be good to go. Uh, let's just run physical LR metal cooler right there inside one. That's fine. Um, and then let's just get as many key spheres as possible. We're actually, we're, we're going to be able to do the super spirit bomb just next turn. 
And, okay, th th I, I think this should work. Um, we don't have any support characters. Remember the support massively buffs uh, the, the Dragon Ball Z Spirit Bomb? But I think we probably are still going to just be good to go. We'll, we'll finish this version of Kid Buu off right here. But remember, he just revives over and over and over and over. Um, oh, we even get the nullification in here. Oh, yes. Nice. Um, but, you know, he is going to revive over and over and over. But the spirit bomb we're about to drop on him is just going to, you know, mess his forehead up a little bit. We'll, we'll say. All right. So let's see here. Is this going to be enough to one shot him? I believe it's only 10 million and, and like you get rid of him for good. I think 10 million is the threshold where he sort of like will auto die. Right. Okay. So all we'll need to do here. Um, is just get them in the last slot. So let's just grab as many orbs as possible to continue charging up the Super Spirit Bomb right here. And then we can get five, it looks like. Okay. Uh, there's no way Kid Buu lives this. All right, so yeah, th this is uh, pretty easy, actually, here. <laughs> we actually we got the 40 million right there okay 40 million is is the the highest mission for stage one right like see we take a look yeah 40 million we actually got that wow are you kidding me okay <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean, I finally crit on the Spirit Bomb. Not really too shocking, I suppose. Okay, so that should give us um, both of the missions for Stage 1. Because uh, we, you know, with Metal Cooler, Metal Cooler Core, and Golden Freezer, we had our three Terrifying Conqueror category allies. Um, and then we also did it within the four turns. So we got both of those missions done. Yep, perfect. Okay. So now, we just have to hop into Stage 2. Uh, and remember, for Stage 2, we have to do it with a couple of powerful comeback category characters. And then we have to do it within five turns. This also should be pretty easy to do here. All right, guys. We'll jump into Stage 2. I think I'll try this. Um, We probably do want to hit the no. Well, do we need to hit the little spot on at the start here and take the damage? I don't think we do. To, uh, it, it doesn't really... Th this stage is pretty easy. I don't think we need to hit this. I think we could just jump right in. And, and we could go ahead and take this out. Um, at This Omega, he doesn't really revive over and over and over the way Kid Buu does. So I, I don't think we're really just going to have any trouble whatsoever. The main thing here with Omega, right, is that we just want to do a lot of attacks to whittle down his barrier right here. Um, we brought a bunch of strong characters. I think we'll be good. Um, again, so Powerful Comeback is the category we need to bring. Um, AGL Blue Gogeta is on that. So, of course, is the LR um, GT Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, and then we also have the um, AGL Blue Gogeta EZA. Funny enough, 5th uh, Anniversary LR Blue Gogeta, he is going to be uh, God in here. He, he, he actually might be like, the, like pretty much one of the best characters you can bring. Uh, but, you know, of course, I I'm recording this before he actually comes out. He's not out yet, so uh, I don't think we're going to need to use him, but uh, he will be crazy. So, remember, the thing here is we just need to do a lot of attacks to whittle down Omega's uh, barrier, right? Now, I believe we have to do... Is it just attacks? No, it is super attacks we have to do. Okay. I brought physical Super Vegito. I felt like, you know... Well, uh, well, I, I, I'll find a spot where we could actually make use out of him, right? Uh, damn, okay, okay. So, not as many super attacks as I would like right there. Again, we want to try and get through this as fast as possible. Um, so we can get to his last phase. And then he does kind of do a KO attack in his second phase. But it's very easy to just kill him. Uh, like, when I was originally doing this, I really, you know, just wanted to, like, finish him thematically with the actual GT Spirit Bomb. And I remember it took me so many attempts. I just could not get the GT Spirit Bomb to crit and finish him off in one hit. It was a real frustrating one. Let me put 
Let, let me just take a look. So, so, so this is not actually going to benefit us then. Physical Super Vegito. It's got to actually be Super Attacks, huh? Let me give this to Orange Piccolo. Um, I think we should still be able to whittle his bar down anyway. Let's see. So this doesn't lower his... No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Yeah, Physical Super Vegito. I, for a second, I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to bring him in. Bring him in. He's going to help us out so much. And it's like, ah, well, not really. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. We got the additional Super Attack for him. Uh, remember that every single one of his counters uh, is a chance to proc the hidden potential system, right? So that's one thing about Vegito, like these like sort of like counter characters, not really needing a large amount of additional in the head hidden potential system, depending on, right? Like if you're actually going to, um, forgot my train of thought, but, but if you're actually going to put them in slot one or not. Okay, so yeah, th this is pretty simple. So again, what is it? It's beat it in four mission, four turns. No, it's five turns with the powerful comeback category characters. LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is great for this, right? Because that unit, well, I guess the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, because you get the guaranteed additional, right, super, which which allows you to just get a lot of additionals and wear this guy down. Um, the LR Gods are another great character that we could use for this, right? Uh, who are the different... So the actual special leaders they give us are LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then Tech Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Those are the ones we can use. All right, so now we just have to finish this boy off. Um, I think we would just be able to kill him pretty easily, just like this. Is this... No, we do want them in slot two, right? Uh, so let's do this, and then we should be good to go. That should get us very high right there. Uh, I, I think that's it. I think we won pretty easily, right? Because he super attacks at the end, I believe. Uh, yeah, he has a countdown. Okay, well, that's it. GG. Uh, I guess that these missions aren't really too tough, but the rewards are still pretty solid for these, right? So just these four missions is, what, 14 stones, six dozing Elder Kais, and two real Elder Kais. So uh, pretty quick and easy to get this done. And then if you combine all of the stones and stuff like that from the entire, like, stage right, with all the content, it's got all the orbs and tickets and stuff like that you get, it's actually really quite good. Um, I did like this event. I had no problem with it. Um, it's it's meant really to just be a showcase for the 8th anniversary LR, so I'd say that's pretty clear. But I don't have an issue with them doing content like that. They definitely should have hit us with another red zone. It didn't necessarily need to be way harder, but just a new red zone would not have been a bad idea. But, I mean, this event is still, I think, fine for what it is, right? So there we go. We got that done. So now we could just go ahead and grab all of the missions. We'll go ahead and take all these rewards right here. Pretty good. I will gladly take these. Bam. Yep, not bad. So there we go. There are all of the missions cleared for the strongest mystery seize the victory with Spirit Bomb event. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this event. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will catch you all next time.